Yosh, what the? Or if you're an elephant. Oh my goodness! <laughs> so, some of you have uh, asked me to react to the new Super Mario Bros. Wonder video, and uh, I have not watched the whole thing. I I did watch a little bit of it, just a little bit in the beginning. I didn't I didn't watch through the whole thing because I. I kind of wanted my initial reaction to be on the channel, but I didn't think I was going to react to this, but naturally, you know how YouTubers are. Oh, Super Mario Bros. trailer reaction. Uh, Super Mario, uh, this reaction, react to this, react to this. I don't really like doing that too much, but, uh, I'm pretty excited about this game, so I'm willing to do it for this one. Before we start, as always, make sure to pray that rose tree. I actually have a, a Lady of Guadalupe sweatshirt on. Look at that. Woo! Ooh. Yo, this game looks really, really nice. Welcome not gonna to the lie. Flower Kingdom, a not so distant land just beyond the Mushroom Kingdom. Okay, so it's a different Mario kingdom. And friends were invited here by the benevolent Prince Florian. Prince the Florian, Kaiser, like Saint the Florian King of the Koopas, Probably. had other plans. With just a single Ooh. touch of the mysterious Wonder Flower. Oh shoot. Bowser oh merge with Prince Florian's castle. Oh that dude that reminds me of um Super Mario Galaxy. Oh my gosh, that is humongous! <laughs> oh my goodness. to his newfound power chaos spread across the land oh my goodness and now it's up to mario and friends to stop bowser and save all right the let's Flower see Kingdom. oh my goodness you're gonna be a lot of characters <gasps> the yoshis oh my goodness in this presentation, we'll go over what's new in Mario's latest 2D side-scrolling adventure, the Super Mario Brothers Wonder Game. Let's jump in. Let's see. Let's see what we got. Let's this see what we got. The Flower Kingdom. It's made up of six distinct worlds that circle the Petal Isles, making a total of seven areas to explore. S seven instead of eight, the huh? The adventure begins among the tubular hills of Pipe Rock Plateau. Once you get past the freeze, that is look, look okay. First of all, hold on, pause this for a second. One thing about this, it looks absolutely beautiful, like aesthetically. I think that's really why people are freaking out because it looks absolutely, it, it looks so polished, it looks so, and like the background, you know, it just looks amazing. It really New looks amazing. Fluff Puff Peaks. Many trials oh my away goodness, and the, the soundtrack too. Scenery and radiant cascades of shining falls. Traverse multiple islands. Ooh, fire Mario. Sea, and spelunk through caves at the heart of the Flower Kingdom, the Petal Isles. Dude, I just noticed they're all new enemies. Sand as far as the eye can see. An uncanny forest lined with giant mushrooms. A scorching hot world full of molten magma. And more. A rich variety oh, I guess not completely new, but world. Move around most of the them are new ones. To select a course. You can even walk freely through open areas you find. In these That's spaces, so cool. if you're not quite ready to take on a particular course, you can try a different one instead. Play them in any order you like. Cool. Once you've played a course, you can quickly come back to it through the courses menu. It's an easy way to find the ones you want to play again. While in courses, you might notice some talking flowers. Get close and... Onward and upward. How'd you get up here? What a pretty sunset. They'll talk to you, livening up your adventure. I wonder what Goombas taste like. They might Wait, hold up, hold up, hold up. Look at that. Go back, go livening back. Livening up your adventure. I wonder what Goombas taste like. So look, look, right there. The Prince 
Prince Florian, that caterpillar guy, is on his head. So I guess he's going to take him back to get his kingdom back. Is that what it is? I don't know. I they might give you hints. Wonder if you can get over there. Or coins. You'd share your water with me? Oh, there's also two different kinds of coins. There's purple coins and... Besides Mario oh, okay, hold pause. Is this, is this a character select? Wow, that's a lot of characters. But, guys, um, there is a reoccurring theme in Nintendo 2D games that has irked me and I think almost everybody else in the fan base. These two right here. Blue Toad. Oh! And yellow toad. Uh, they absolutely do not belong in this game. Okay. Why? Because why would you have blue toad and yellow toad? And not have Wario and Waluigi? Why do they insist on not making them playable? Like they're only in Mario Party, you know, all, and Mario Kart, you know, all the all the party games. Why aren't, why aren't they in an actual game? Like this. So you're telling me that they're gonna put Blue Toad and Yellow Toad and this random character Nabbit, I've never even seen that before, and they're gonna put them, that thing in there and not put Wario and Waluigi. But the plot, on, a, on the plus side, we have Daisy, okay, and Peach, and Mario, and Luigi, and four different Yoshis. That is awesome. You can also play as Luigi. Yeah, Luigi. Peach. Peach yeah. Daisy. Yeah. One of two toads. Oh my word. And Toadette. Oh, Toadette. That look, Toadette may look. So you're telling me Toadette's in this game and not normal Toad? Here's what the roster should have been. Okay, replace Nabbit with Toad, the red Toad. Replace green and uh yellow and blue Toad with. Wario and Waluigi. Then you have the perfect, the perfect roster. I don't understand why they won't put them in the game. It's so annoying. And like, why Toadette's in there and not normal Toad? It doesn't make any sense, man. I love how it's huge. I love how it's huge. There's so many characters you can choose from. But why do they put yellow and blue Toad in every single one of these games? It doesn't make any sense. I know what's his name doesn't like Waluigi because he didn't make it. He, he, this man has, has underwent so much hate, okay? So go with your favorite or mix it up. The Yoshis and Nabbit, on the other hand, won't take damage. They're a great choice if you're looking for a more easygoing experience. Careful though, they'll still lose a life if they fall down a pit. So watch your step. What? So, the Yoshi... I think you probably could just make them all the same, and then have difficulties like normal games. Like, oh, let's put it on no damage from enemies difficulty. So you're saying if I want to be Yoshi, I don't get, I can't experience the difficulty uh, that Mario's gonna have? Additionally, the Yoshis can flutter jump, eat objects, and spit them back at enemies. Oh, so they have the abilities? Okay. They're OP then. Here are some of the new ones you'll find. Hoppy cats will copy the player and jump when you jump. Melon piranha plants will spit seeds from their Melon pots. piranha plants. That is so Hump cool. Dogs will fly at you and stick their beaks where they don't belong. Okay, those. When conks attack, they'll even plow through goo. Mumsies can be unraveled if you Mumsies. position yourself just right. Mamas will eat anything that comes too close to their game. Oh mouths. my gosh, that is scary, dude. There are plenty more new enemies for you to discover as well. Goombas, Koopa Troopas, Boos, Locky Twos, and other familiar foes. Locky Two? That's how you pronounce it, Locky Two? I thought I always called them Locky Two. I guess I was wrong. Those are also here. Power-ups. <gasps> Next, let's look at the new power-ups you can find. 
in elephant form. Make the most of your nose and your size. Swing your trunk to attack enemies, destroy blocks, and even do this. In this form, you can easily break through blocks and dash across large gaps. Oh, so he's just humongous. If you water in your trunk and spray it out, who knows what might happen? Thank you. That trunk sure is useful, huh? It's not just Mario, though. Luigi. Oh, my goodness. The Toads. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> that is the most cursed thing I've ever seen. Oh, my gosh. Yo. Hey, uh. What does Luigi, Peach look like? Daisy. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> what the heck? And Toadette all have elephant forms as well. What the heck? The bubble form allows you to blow light. Oh my gosh. Bubbles. They can be used to capture and defeat enemies from a distance. Okay, so also it... drift toward nearby foes. You can take care of enemies surrounding you in one go. Defeat so dude, that's just that is that bubble power up is just an inferior version of the fire flower. I mean typically impervious foes and not Oh, it can destroy Dry on the other side of walls. Oh, okay. You can jump off them like platforms. Oh, I take it back. <laughs> Whoa. Okay. Almost make it a bit easier to get to those hard to reach places. Just like that. Oh my gosh, that's OP. Never Blind mind, that is OP. You get a pretty nifty drill. This makes dealing with spiky or hard-headed enemies a breeze. Or you can use it to drill down. Oh, so it's a little it bit also different. Allows you to burrow and move through the ground. Oh In my a tough goodness, spot, dude! Dig away. This skip. Wow. What? The ceiling. Whoa! I wasn't expecting company. Plus, the classic fire form makes a return. The yeah, fire flower is oh, ace. You can hang on to an extra oh my up. gosh. In a pinch, Dude, that elephant power up. up. That elephant power up. Dude, I. <laughs> look at that. <laughs> it's amazing. Amazingly weird. What the heck? That is so messed up. <laughs> I don't know why. Maybe it's just me, but dude, that elephant power up. That is weird, dude. Or swap them to better fit that the is weird, dude. I like how you can carry multiple power ups. That's good. Wonder. This is a wonder flower, a plant okay. that grows in the flower kingdom. It's said they thrive off this world's mysterious power and release it when in bloom. That's the power Bowser was after. When you touch what a wonder if flower, Mario of course, gets it. a wonder effect will trigger, causing some interesting changes. Pipes might start moving. A stampede of enemies can appear. What the? The terrain may tilt. Oh my gosh, Indiana Jones. You Run. end up in a free fall. Bubbles might, uh, bubble up. Oh my goodness. Your perspective can change. What the? Or you might float through space. There are even wonders where your character transforms. Like how? Mario might become a Goomba? Or a spike ball? Or blow up like a balloon? Yes! Yes! Okay, I, okay. No, I'm sorry. <laughs> that voice crack was pretty rough. Yes! Yes! But guys, I grew up on Mario 64 DS, and this power-up was overpowered in that game. You could literally skip the entire Bowser 1 stage with it. It's cool to see it return, okay? I know it's a weird power-up, but I like it a lot, because he turns out fat and he floats around. But uh, that's cool. Expect the unexpected. Oh my goodness. Collect a wonder seed, and the course will return to normal. Some courses need to be unlocked using the wonder seeds you've collected. You'll also earn a wonder seed as thanks from a poplin when you clear a course. Poplin. <laughs> as 
as your adventure progresses. You'll unlock in-game badges that change up the way you play when equipped. There are a variety of badges, each with its own special ability. Let's go over some of them. Slow your fall with the Parachute Cap Badge. Parachute Cap? I think we've seen that before Enhance somewhere. Enhance your wall jumping abilities with the Wall Climb Jump Badge. <laughs> Unleash a burst of speed while underwater by equipping the Dolphin Kick Badge. You can also break underwater blocks. Charge up a bounding leap with the Crouching High Jump Badge. Shoot vines in midair and Shoot stick vines. to walls with the Grappling Vine Badge. Recover from dangerous drops instantly with the safety oh. bounce badge. What? Easily find important items using the sensor badge. Dude, that elephant Drawing is so messed up. Mula with the coin magnet badge. All right, those those badge things is like little perks. Up to four people can play locally on the same Nintendo Switch system. Yep, that's amazing. Pick your favorite character and jump into the adventure together. If a oh my gosh, go back. And jump into the adventure together. Guys, come on. It's not just me. Look at that. Look at the princesses, dude. I just, I cannot get over this elephant power if up, dude. If a player dude. is defeated in local co-op, their character will float around the course as a ghost. <sighs> if another player reaches them the before ghost. time runs out, they'll jump right back into action. Awesome. Your group won't lose a life either. And just so you know, if someone is playing as a Yoshi, you can jump on their back and ride them around the course. Even if you're also playing as a Yoshi. Yoshi, what the? Or if you're an elephant. Oh my goodness! <laughs> Yoshi, look at his face, dude. What the crap? Oh my, oh my gosh, dude. He is struggling. Dude, this elephant power up, dude. Dude, it's just the weirdest thing in a Mario game. Oh my goodness, look at Yoshi. He is struggling, dude. He's like, please. Bro, I feel so bad. Yoshi's, Yoshi has been done so dirty, dude. If you connect online, you might see other players on the world map and in courses. These are people from around the world, enjoying the game in real time, appearing as live player shadows. Just like in local co-op, if you're defeated, you can come back to life by bumping into a live player shadow. Oh, players dang. can send greetings and share in-game items. Even though you won't be playing together directly. Dude, 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 if you're playing online, you can, like, it's impossible, even if you get hit, like, it's impossible for you to permanently die, like, there's gonna be so many people on every map. In a shared room, you can see which courses your friends are playing, enter courses together, and even race through certain courses. Start a race by hitting the race block. Then make a run for it. That is so awesome. Reaching the goal pole isn't the only way to finish a race, though. In some courses, you'll need to grab a wonder seed. Oh my goodness, what is that thing? Is that that was a junior? Whether you're casually connecting with players from around the world or syncing up with friends for riveting races, you can enhance your experience with online play. What a beautiful day! Dude. This game is gonna be lit. It really looks fun, dude. Oh my goodness. Jump into the unexpected with Mario and friends Whoa! when Super Mario Brothers Wonder launches on the Nintendo Switch system October 20th. Plus, a new Nintendo Switch OLED model Mario Red Edition is also on the way. Wow, that's so nostalgic. Find Mario and some hidden coins. The Nintendo Switch OLED model Mario Red Edition launches October 6th. Wow.
That was awesome. Yeah, so aesthetically, everything was amazing. The power-ups look awesome, okay? Uh, I, my only gripes, really, so far, with uh, is the fact that, you know, you can't be Wario and Waluigi. It doesn't really make much sense to me. But then also that, yeah, like, why? How come Yoshi, like, I know he has different abilities. He should have his iconic abilities, but why is he, why does he have to be invincible? to normal enemies just by default and you can't change that that should be a, a game mode to choose from not exclusive to one character because then like if i wanted to be yoshi then it doesn't really feel fair because i'm not getting hit by anything you know i just gotta i could just literally rush through the level with yoshi and um yeah then again yeah i guess he doesn't have any power up so they made him invincible it's, so it's like a balancing thing maybe i don't know we'll just have to see how it is when the game comes out but on uh, October 20th, yeah, we're going to play that. I'm going to make an effort, okay, to this time actually play the game when it comes out and not wait like a month or actually like Future Mario Odyssey, for example, that came out in 2017. I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, reaction video. Um, I'm excited. I'm excited for this game. Um, I think it might, it's going to be one of the best two, uh, 2D Mario games. Lots of nostalgia because one of the best Christmas gifts ever was we didn't have a lot of money at the time, so we, uh, my mom went on Black Friday and got the red Wii that came with New Super Mario Brothers and Wii Sports, and that was like a magical Christmas because I did not even expect to get that. I wanted a Wii so bad. But we couldn't uh, afford to get one. But wow, what a that was a Christmas! I still actually have that Wii. Look at this. I actually still have the Wii. And look, you know, with the red remote and everything. Man, hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, make sure to lots of love and love and subscribe if you haven't already. I'll see you next video. Until then, pray that rosary, use those sacraments, go to reconciliation, repent, and your sins, and of course, God bless everybody. See ya. Boom.